Hello everyone, and I'm back on my warrior. And mainly because I'm almost 50 on my warrior, and I know that a lot of people out there on your second job onwards at level 49 or 47 to 50-ish, it starts getting a little bit of a grind to level up. Now, dungeon grinding is still the best and most desired, but in case you're like me who doesn't have a, you know, a schedule that can devote an hour and a half at least at a time, you're not going to be able to do that, so this is for those who don't have as much time. Remember, do your Beast Tribe quests. They're really easy, a lot of them. Whether that just be soothing a particular bomb or whatever it is, I don't know, all the different Beast quests. Most of them are just go here, kill this, click this, such and such. It's really, really easy XP and you get reputation in the long run, so it's worth it. Or if that's not your bag, do your hunting quest, do your hunting log because it gives you big chunks of XP. Now this one is, is not exactly the best option, but it does break up the monotony of, dun of non-stop dungeon grinding or things of that nature because you get to explore the world. Or if you don't want to do that either, you can do leave quests. Now leave quests are limited. I don't use them all that often because I'm casual, but if you have a big load of them, I'd recommend going to St. Coinox, I'm not sure what it is, and using I think it's leave your stomp on it and liminal, something like that. Those are the two I do, you can do the other ones, but eventually you will level up. If you do the leave quest, it is very quick, like less than an hour quick. But once you hit 50, remember, go to your job trainer. There's a very good reason for that, because they give you a full set of item level 90 gear. And we're going to be watching the warrior set. Because the warrior one, when you don't actually go back to Limbs of Laments or your retainer and actually get all the stuff out of your thing, this fight sucks. Not this particular fight. The boss fight of this, if you want to call it such, because I believe I almost died, and I, like, never die on these story quests, so... I must have been doing something horrifically wrong, so get some giggles out of my poor play here, I suppose. But again, I do want to clarify, I do recommend if you are a tank or a healer or hell, even if you want to as a DPS, to go in on a dungeon run. If you have the time, that is the best way to learn your class. Not to say that you have to do dungeons to know your class, but it does help with the practicing and making perfect, you know, trope. Or whatever you want to call that. But like I said, not all of us have the time to do that, so we all have to make different ways of leveling up, and that's the great thing about Final Fantasy XIV, you don't have to grind dungeons if you don't have the time to do it. Now, if you're a new warrior like me, you're probably going to imagine the first thing about Old Gorge here, or George as I like to call him because it's, it just kind of begs to be said, he hits like a Mack truck. During some of his particular maneuvers, as you see, my health is just kind of ping-ponging up and down a little bit. Get used to it, it's a warrior thing. But what you wanted to actually, I have no idea what in the hell's going on in this fight. I just kind of panicked. I'm like, oh my god, they're all going to start running toward me. I have to go and just kill all these things. Kill all these things. For the record, I don't think you should ever do this. But I was panicking, and my instincts came out like a bunch of ads. I better kill those first. Come to find out, they don't really do much. They might lob a spell or two at you, uh, considering they're targeting me. But they don't seem to be doing much of anything, really. Now, what you're probably supposed to do is you kill these, and then it assuages his anger somewhat, but I don't really know that. I have no idea what the purpose of those things are. All I know is, they're not really important. But yes, this particular fight, you will learn how to sustain, or you will die, or you're overgeared. I recommend not going in overgeared, though. You can very easily go. I was... I couldn't move for the record. I was home gang there. <laughs> So if you're wondering, like, why did you just sit in that? That would be why. Remember when I said he gets like a Mack truck? Yeah, he gets like a Mack truck. And like I said, you will learn how to survive or you will die here. Because if you go into this, because I could have went into this with a freaking item level 90 axe. I'm in here with level 46 axe, okay? So, or level, item level 48, I think. If I came in here with item level 90, this thing would have been long over and I wouldn't have learned near as much as I did about not dying. <laughs> really. I popped Vengeance a little late. Probably should have popped Vengeance a little earlier. But, I don't know, I just really enjoy a very tough fight. That's why I didn't want to go back and get the level 90 axe. and It would have been fun, more fun and just beat up on the guy, but I mean... How would you ever get to 180 HP like that and get this rush of adrenaline right now, man? I don't even know what nascent flash even is. Is that the 
Is that what they do? Is that they... Do they freaking heal you? Because if, if that's true, I'm like destroying my own healing thing I didn't even notice. Ah well. You live and you learn. But once you're done, you've gotten all your gear, you've gotten all that stuff done, now's the time to go play. Because... Uh, I don't know about you, in every single MMORPG I have ever played, as soon as I get to max level and as soon as I get a bunch of nice gear, I go back to old dungeons. So that's what I'm going to do, because I like doing these. Now, it should be said, I did get to the final boss in Brave Flock's Longstop as a level 46 warrior, but I couldn't kill the final boss. So, I'm not going to be showing all the trash pulls. I could do the trash pulls level at item level 40-something, so... That's not a hard thing as a warrior. If you know how to cycle your cooldowns and how not to die, anyway. Mainly, this is just to show how much dam the damage differential compared to my item level 40-something weapon, and it should be very substantial, and you can tell it is very substantial, because Mame's doing 300 when he used to do like 120 or something. It also should be said, every single boss fight back when I did this item level 40-something, I darn near died on every single boss. Like, the first boss I got down to like a thousand health, the second boss I got down to like 200 health. No, the sec- no, the second boss- yeah, the second boss. I, I keep thinking there's four bosses in Brave Flocks. The second boss was the one that almost killed me, the third boss is easy peasy as long as you know how to hit the bubble. And Ayatar, he's just a dick. <laughs> he's a dick if you have a low item level, because if you don't know how to move him out of the poison, which by the way, it's a good practice to learn how far you have to pu you know, pull him out of the poison if, as a tank, so... It's good training for that one, because if you don't do that, your whole group will wipe. Please reference my first Brave Flux long stop video on my Let's Play. You will see a tank that does not grasp that concept. Until, like, six turns, six runs in. And that's just an example of what do, what not to do. I'll be showing you what generally... Actually, now that I think of it, I think Ayatar had four stacks of poison on him, so you don't really learn much from this video on that encounter either. But in your encounter, you will learn how... You know, how much to pull him. Okay, so I'm just going to be explaining this boss a little bit. I know this isn't exactly the place for it. But for those who never watched my Brave Flox's long stop video, you might learn a mechanic or two here. Obviously, you're not going to have Storm's Eye here or anything of that nature. But you can learn from the, the mechanics of the fight. Okay, so first off, that second ad has to die. There is no getting through this boss fight unless the second ad dies. And I will show you exclusively what that means. Because if you just ignore the thing, as so many Duty Finder groups are wont to do, again, including my first Brave Flox's long stop group except me, because I ended up tanking the second thing, because I was the only one hitting it, if, after you kill the Inferno Drake, it does not die, it does not leave. It is not like any of the other ads in the entire game in boss fights, it will not just leave. Okay, so, the sec- the big mechanics of- uh, the big mechanic of this fight, as I think it shows up around, what, 30%, 25%, I don't remember what percentage, okay, right around here. When the Brave Flux all talks, it just follows you. There is a way to cheese this mechanic, I do not, do not recommend you do this in a group. Why? Because you're gonna end up nuking the, the frickin' white mage or something, don't do that. If it comes to you, just take it like a man. Don't, j just like, try to mitigate as much as you can with either Second Wind or whatever you have at your disposal as a DPS or whatever you have, just... Don't point it at someone else, essentially. Don't be a dick about it. But if you're solo, you can run around in circles, and like I said, this thing has to die, otherwise the boss fight is not over, so... There's no sense in ignoring it. It's best just kill it early so your healer doesn't have a heart attack. And make the healer work harder from having to heal two things at once. So just... It's just yeah, that's, that's basically it. Now, the final boss, Ayatar is a big tank check. As a warrior, you have to know how the fight works. And this kind of goes into the whole thing. This is turned from a for leveling 49 to 50 into a warrior thing. But before that, the only reason I'm showing the Deep Jungle Quarrel is because every single time I've ever run this place, bar none, a class ring always drops. I don't know if they buff the drop rate, I had heard it's not 100%, or maybe I'm just really lucky and I need to buy a lottery ticket, I don't know. Because the times I've did this, I've gotten the Pugilist, obviously in my first Brave Flocks run, because I won it, and then after that I got a Thaumaturge ring, I got a freaking Lancer ring, and I'm pretty sure I got another one. <laughs> now, I thought they were supposed to be rare drops, 
but it, it does it does not seem to be so oh yeah also when you get to 50 as a warrior you want to actually you know make use of infuriate infuriate is a really nice tool we're in tough fights oh and apparently a rogues ring I forgot all about that uh, infuriate is a godsend cuz it puts you into plus five in uh, wrath or whatever it's called so you can start off with an unchained getting massive hate with defiance unchained and your Berserk combo, nothing's going to be able to pull that stuff off of you. Well, maybe a Monk, but you would have to really be slacking on the Butcher's Block combos to do so. So, Ayatar. Ayatar, as you see, has a ton of health. At least, comparatively speaking, there is no way I could do this at level at item level 40-something, so... That's the reason I didn't put a video up prior. I could, I could easily did it on my Monk before, but... You wouldn't really learn anything from just watching a Monk beat the crap out of a dragon, now would you? Because I'm not sure if you're learning anything now. Maybe you're just watching this to listen to my sunny disposition. I'm not sure. Point is, it feels so nice to actually have a level 50 character. Why did I just do this? This is the worst way to do this. Just run him right into the poison and keep him in there. But you want to make sure none of him is touching that poison. Absolutely none of it. So, once you make sure he's out of it, this is generally where everybody's just praying and doing their job as best they can in the fight. But if you're by yourself, you gotta know every little thing about mechanics. Which is another reason why I actually recommend you do undersized parties. Because you cannot just cheese mechanics. You have to know what's going on. Granted, some mechanics require more than one person. And then you, got, you kinda have to cheese those. But at least you know what the mechanics are then and know to expect them. I'm not saying you have to do undersized things. I'm just saying that's the way I've always learned best in MMOs, so you know, because you have nobody to blame but yourself. You, have, you can't just say, oh, that happened because of the frickin' white mage, or that happened because of the rogue. No, you can't do that. It's all on you. And that's the key to improvement, folks. Looking objectively at yourself and not failing. And it should be noted, the poison puddles do not actually leave. I've sat there, well, for a very long time when I was level 46. And it, they do not go away. So this is like a soft enrage of sorts. We're the first one in the game, I think. As far as dungeons go, Ayatar has a soft enrage. If you're not familiar with MMO terminology, a soft enrage basically means if you don't do something quick enough, the fight is impossible or will become impossible very shortly. A hard enrage is when you just die. Soft enrage, though, means, yeah, you're not going to die immediately from the poison if he's just sitting in the poison at level 32, but... You'll all die soon enough because he's healing. <laughs> now that the MMO lesson of the day is gone, and now everybody already knows that, I think he's out of the poison here. He doesn't appear to be in the poison, but this is really like your last gasp of just trying to kill him, because once you get to this point, it's hard to just... Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you learned something by leveling 49 to 50. The first half of the video was for that. The second half was really just showing off because I wanted to do... I wanted to just do it on my warrior. I, I, you know, revenge. I died twice to Ayatar when I tried it before. Sweet, sweet revenge. I also got three cavalry pieces so far, which I heard is a rare drop. I'm like, oh, like, crap. Random number generator loves me and Brayflox. Brayflox loves me. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this will help you level from 49 to 50 a lot easier in a lot less time. So, farewell everyone until next time.